Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome, thank you so very much for joining me. Today I am sharing a porch pickup that Mary did for me. Mary is here in Salem, pretty much the same town as me. And we've only met the one time at the craft fair, but I'm hoping that we could hang out. I am gonna take a class at the store that we're going to, but it's a Dina Wakely class and you pretty much had to be on the list from years ago, I think. You know, it's you can't even remember before COVID. Anyway, Mary left me this amazing gift bag. You guys know, I tell you, I don't need anything and I don't need happy mail, but it is kind of fun if you're cleaning stuff out anyway, like I don't want you to buy me things, then it's fun to see it. It's also really fun when you make neat things like, uh, Nancy makes these cute little treasures every once in a while and sends them to me. And I just love the inspiration, right? And I like to see your cards and stuff. So I'm going to go through this and show it to you and talk about, well, there's so much. I don't know if I'll be able to talk a lot about what I want to do with some of these things, but I'll just share it with you and give you ideas. And if you're like me where you, you don't just do one thing, it's really fun to see stuff like this too, because it's not necessarily in a store near me, right? A lot of this stuff she's collected and collated over the years, if you will. So it's fun stuff. Look at this. You know I'm gonna use this in a journal. The world is but a canvas to the imagination, Henry David Thoreau. I do not have this one. And I don't even think I have this sentiment in a smaller one. I'm looking around at the walls and I have a couple of cool stamp sets, but I don't think I have this one. This is really neat and I love the font. It could also work on a card. I think there's enough room for flowers or decorations or cool mixed media around it. Thank you so much, Mary. And then a little mouse, it kind of looks like a house mouse. Oh, it's a Beatrix Potter. Look at that. That's cute. Cats, dogs, mice. This one's making cookies. That's really cute. With love, that's really nice on presents and projects. And oh my gosh, it's from Ben Franklin. Look at that, you guys. Does anybody still have a Ben Franklin? I think some of you do. I'm not so lucky. Look at this. It's a map stamp and it's on foam, which sometimes is kind of neat because you don't have to use the whole stamp all the time. You can just come in and pop it in. And it's really nice to have maps and text and just combinations of things in all different sizes, especially for art journal pages, which I haven't done in forever, you guys. Totally dropped the ball on that goal for the year. Okay, look at this one. It's have yourself a merry little Christmas. And look how small this is. I had trouble when I was making my holiday cards and Christmas ones. I just couldn't find small enough sentiments. And I think I've reached a point in my card making Years and years ago, we had sentiments and maybe some pretty paper. Now we have so many dyes and embellishments and cool stuff. If you have a sentiment that takes up the whole front, it gets tricky. So I really like this one. I'm excited. Put that away safe. I think I'll go through the stamps first. Then look at this. She sent me some more cool stamps to make my school cards with. And last year, remember, I think it was Linda sent me a stamp set, but I don't think it was the same one. I think these are a little bit different, so I'll have different size pens and pencils. I don't have one that says classmates, I don't think. And the one, two, three is fun. You could also just use these in art journaling or any card making, fun texture and backgrounds. Then look at this, fun for the travel journals <laughs> I've still yet to make. And you know how sometimes I'm looking for tiny stamps to make clusters and stuff? How cute would these be? There's a backpack and a bike and a car and a plane and a little castle. That would be cute for like a Disney-ish kind of thing. Oh, and then the little mountains. Sometimes you look at something and you think, oh, well, I'm not a planner person. No, you're not. But maybe sometimes they have little tiny stamps that you want. Also, rest and relaxation. Really nice sentiments for any journal. Don't look at what it was sold for. Look at what you can do with it. Look at this one. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Open your heart to new beginnings. There's no better friend than you. I think this is the best one. And then it has these floral edges. So you can take all your sentiment stamps and come in right around them. And if you are a person who has as many as me, and these are pretty large, so sometimes it's hard to bring in uh, decoration with them. But you know me, I'm going to 
I would emboss this or I would use a nice color. I'm not gonna probably color it, but a colored ink, even a black, I think it's just such a detailed stamp. Really cool, Mary, thank you. Patriotic napkins. Yes, I am, I, there's an idea cooking up in here. I don't know exactly what it is yet because I've looked at some of this, but I probably haven't seen it all and we can look again. Ooh, these are cool. They are likely journal pages. You could do just about anything with them, but she's got them on pretty thick paper too. Magic spells. That looks cool. It's nicely done. This one, so they're they're Halloween-ish, but I was thinking nature journal when I saw this because that is something Tony would love for sure. Okay, look at this. I haven't seen this kind of eggs. I don't go to the store though, really, so I don't see much. These are so cute and you could maybe do some little die cuts out of here or you could cut a little border right here and use it along a page as a tuck spot in a journal or maybe you could cut out your little birds and redecorate them if you don't want it to say on green grass or under open skies. Super cute. The other thing is there's words. Pasture, vital, sunshine, fresh air. Look at your trash and think, oh, what could I do with that? These um, fresh air and sunshine, I think I would cut them separate and you might even have room to like flag it a little bit and then you could put them on a little cluster. They'd be adorable, absolutely adorable. Okay, travel stickers. I seriously have to make some travel journals, don't I? I'm starting to think about my 2023 projects. I know, better late than never. And figuring out, okay, these bins that I have and these ideas. I need to pencil them into the calendar. Okay, look at this one. How do I not have this tissue box? I don't want to just do ovals, I don't think, because I have quite a few. I don't know, maybe I'll do some circles. The reason I do so many ovals out of tissue boxes is this piece right here. So maybe I'll do an oval here. We could get a good sized circle here and then come in with another circle. And depending on where you move it around, they're not gonna be exactly the same, right? Cause you can go up here and get the dark blue or you can go down in here and get more of the light. That is why I end up with so many ovals because the tissue boxes always have this narrow section. Look at this one too, very cool. Okay, she has so much canvas in here. It's crazy. You know, sometimes you get these projects in your head or maybe she picked them up somewhere inexpensive or she seems like she was collecting them. This could be an amazing journal cover. When, when I see something this large, I think journal cover. You could paint, stamp, especially foamies. Foamies are great for this or maybe one like this, probably with some stays on or some special ink or a big one, right? It has to be a big, bold one. If you come in with something like this, you have to be accepting of the fact that you're probably not gonna be able to read it and that's okay. Maybe you stamp this whole thing first, then you let that dry and then you come in over the top with butterflies. It could be anything, just ideas. You could also uh, paint with brushes or draw or whatever it is you want to do on these and then make journal covers. And I, these are super thick, really cool. And then look at this one. It is 16, you can't even see it, can you? I was gonna go get the tripod, but we're having some weather today, so I didn't want to go out to the shop. There's 16 by 20 and there's black and cream. And I'm trying to figure out if they are sticky on the back. Mm, no, maybe they just have a paper backing, but how cool are those? Those could be a big journal. So much neat stuff. Okay, while we're talking canvas, look at these. They're 12 by 12. There's orange, red, yellow, and a green. Oh, I don't think this is Andrea's green so much. And they're canvas. They're 12 by 12. Sorry, that noise might be a lot for you. They're 12 by 12 sheets of canvas. You could use these in your journal to make pages. You could also, any of this stuff that I already showed could be journal pages instead of the cover. Dina Wakely has some where she made canvas pages in them. And it, when you're playing with her or watching her videos, she cuts circles in them so you can see the design behind it. She paints on them. She treats a canvas page just like any other page. I think they're intimidating for the rest of us, but she told us not to be scared of them. Super cool. I think what I'll probably do is take these all out of the packages because then I'm more likely to use them. Is it, I don't know, is a package a barrier for you sometimes? 
Maybe that's why Mary never used them. Look at this too. This is really cool. Again, could be a journal cover, could also be embellishments. You could sit on the couch and fussy cut these out and then play with them. The other thing is my friend Andrea will run anything through her Xyron. Imagine if she made stickers out of these. It'd be super cool, wouldn't they? And I think there's enough here you could make a journal cover and then have a section to make embellishments or accents for inside. And if you only have part of the flower, that's not trash. You can put that on the corner of the page and it'll be amazing. Love this, Mary. My gosh, so many good ideas in one bag. What am I going to do? Okay, which way you want to go? Uh, let's talk about ribbon. She's got uh, four things to ribbon in here. She used this on a project for me before, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm excited to see that one. And then I can't remember if I told you guys, but the rescue really liked those cards I made. So I was going to make more and drop them off on the way to my mom's, but then my mom was sick, so I haven't made them. But this will be really cute. And again, this is kind of thick, but you can totally use this on a card. Maybe you'll see it in a video. All sorts of good stuff. This is a fun one. This is good for Christmas, but good for other stuff too. This one's wired. Wired ribbon is great for making wreaths and three-dimensional things or the top of a box that you decorate. You can also use it on a card. It's just kind of, you know, no one will know. Uh, look at this one. Fun. Thank you so much, Mary. Good stuff. Okay. So sometimes you look at the stuff and you think, oh, maybe it was something she didn't need that much of, like the canvas. And then you see something like this and you know she picked this for me. Look at this thing. It's joy and it has stars on it and a little vine. It is so darn cute. So cute. I think I'll put it on my planner for 2023. I don't have like a cute planner. I don't want to imply that. I just have like a calendar planner. I need the calendar kind because otherwise you guys would never see collab videos on time okay these are embossing folders which i really don't know how to share in a video very well hmm. okay that might work they are this one is like bottle tops banana soda punch cola yeah i, I don't know how to share embossing folders there you go okay this one is dresses like for my sewing stuff dress what are they called dress forms travel with the Eiffel Tower and it says bonjour c'est la vie uh, bird cages so a horizontal card oh this one is crazy cool it is like a lion crest and part of a postage canceled stamp and some text just really artsy very fun oh postcard this one's neat too and on some of these, you could you could run the embossing folder and then you could cut some of these out and use them as embellishments individually. So if you look at this and you think, well, I don't know that I want five bird cages and covering the whole front of my card. Well, that's okay. You can use part of them and just fussy cut them. I know. Who am I? Okay, this one is cool scallops, like big ribbony things. And again, you could do the same idea. You don't have to use the whole embossing, embossed piece for the same thing. Look at this. Okay, I don't do Halloween usually because it's just time, right? But these bats are velvet and they are cool. And quite honestly, yes, you could take this journal, cover this up and make anything, but I don't know that I'm gonna cover up these bats. They are crazy cool. So years ago, I was totally hooked on mini albums and I have a whole stash of them. And this one, not so many, but it's also really cool because with three ring, you can take this apart and add super fun junk journal pages and then have your back cover right? The other thing is you could decorate this more. You could use markers or embossing powders or whatever and have the bats like flying through silver clouds. But they, they are just cool. They're, they're thin velvety bats. Love it. Okay, this, I'm going to have to leave this on the counter and think about it. This can be one of those objects where I only have one and it's super cool, so I'm going to have to think about it forever. I don't think I'm going to put it away in like Halloween stuff because then it'll surprise me next year and I won't have a plan. 
Okay, this is cool fabric and also there's a UFO in here. So it's like a gardening. Uh, it's not twall, right? I don't know what it is, but it's just a cool pattern. Look, it's like a mini album UFO right here. Sewed together, the edges are sewed. It's sewed up the middle. I haven't made one like this, have you guys? It's ready to go. So on something like this, it's kind of weird fabric too, it's a little stretchy. You can add paper in, you can paint, which would give like, if you painted this and let it dry, it would give a surface that you could use paint markers or some art on top of. You could gesso, it would stiffen the pages up and again, give you a surface to work on. If you're into mixed media, if you're not, you could just make really cute little pages like this because it's fabric, right? Maybe you want to use this or maybe it's, uh, I don't know, a gift, a Valentine's Day gift or something. Maybe it's different colors, right? You could stamp these on paper, double mat them, and then glue them onto these pages. And you could put photos in here. It could become a little photo album. I mean, anything you could do with any book, you could do with this. We panic when we have paper pages or canvas pages. Don't Dina Wakely would tell you, don't be afraid of it. Just go for it. Super cool. I love it. And again, she's given me enough that I could make, I could make a couple minis or I could make one big one. This is really neat. It's very thick and a little bit stretchy. I don't know where she finds this stuff. Okay, this I made a mess of, but they were little ephemera kits. So this one she's showing me, she got this new die. It's stitched and it's ovals which you know I'm kind of obsessed with ovals. And I like this, it's very long and narrow. You know, the technical term I think I use is squished. So like this whole thing would fit nicely in there. Or I think this thinking of you would fit. It would be close, but it would work. So having the different shaped ovals for your different stamps, look at these. You're a great friend. I don't think the poo one will fit because there's the A.A. Milne thing down there. Yeah, not quite. And so that's a fun thing that you can do. You can just send a few die cuts to somebody and they can play with them. And if I want to make, like I like the brown because it goes with everything, right? But I could also ink some of them up. Noni does that. She barely buys colors. She inks everything beautiful. So I could. I probably won't. Probably use them like that. This is a uh, star die, and what she did to make this was she used one of her infinity dies to back it. So you have the star set right here, and then she backed it, which I think is a super cool idea, and it's good to think about mixing products. Mary gets really creative. This is, I don't know, it looks like a neat little ephemera pack here. I didn't pull the stuff out yet. Gorgeous, right? It was probably a kit from years ago or something. Doesn't it look kind of basic grayish? It does, yep. And then there's fabric on this side too. The fabric strips are really nice for ties or for tucks and journals. Like a one inch strip, that is not trash. That is a big piece. Okay, look at these. I'm gonna zoom you in a little. This was an ephemera kit that uh, I opened up and then messed up the package, but look at it. It is just cool. And then these are all the little versions of it. So you could glue them on, cut them and glue them on and make little, uh, I don't think they're self-adhesive, no, make little ephemera with them. I don't know where she gets all this cool stuff. You people who actually shop, you find good stuff. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking about going back through some of my old photos. I did lots of genealogy stuff and I probably have like black and white copies and stuff. I have so much good stuff I haven't even looked yet. I just think about it. Look at this. It's a book made by the Mod Podge people and it's all neat collage papers. So you could cut out the little stamps or you could use the sections and it's mm, medium weight. Not like tissue paper thin or anything but good fun stuff in here. I see some ephemera making in my future, which I know Mary loves to see, so that was very smart of her, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, she's controlling the channel. That's awesome. Yeah, look at these. I mean, 
imagine some of these fussy cut maybe inked or torn edges especially these like tiny ones and then layered like some of these types of things and this is what i was thinking with those little tiny stamps in the planner things too because you can bring in your theme or image like if you want to go travel or if you're nature you can put the mountains really cool this looks fun maybe this is like put it in your purse with your fancy scissors and when your family is talking to you you're cutting is that rude i, I can't just be i'm not very good mr crafting and relaxing has been trying to teach me for years to do nothing he's wonderful at it he can do it all day nothing it's like a sport for him i think that's why the dogs always choose him because he'll sit around and do nothing but to be clear Pooh chose me in the end when we first got her, it was World Cup, and she hung out with him, but then she chose me. Okay, look at this. These are, if you do beadwork, you probably know what these are called. I think they're called spacers. That's what I'm going to call them, and that's what I'm going to use them as. When you put beads or other stuff, this would be an example. When you put stuff on a thing, <laughs> very technical, a lot of bead skills here. You put these through it, and then you have these little gold cutie accents in between things. I'm really good at buying beads and wanting to fancy up journals. I'm not great at using them. Look at this cute little jar. That's gonna be precious on my shelf. Then I'm going through and I'm like, oh, okay, clearly these are probably for Katie or my mom. Katie's gonna lose her mind when she sees this. She's like obsessed with Missouri Star. We are going there uh, sometime. We talked about it because we weren't sure Sadie was gonna stick around and I thought, well, if she bails on me, then I'm going to need a trip. But now we're into different weather and Sadie's still going. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm making this video Christmas Eve, so you probably won't see it for quite a while. So my apologies if something happens to Sadie and that's confusing to you. But we just take her life day by day. And last week she wasn't great. And this week she's like a rock star and bossing the dog around. So you never know. I'm going to flip through this and look and then I'm going to pass it to my friend Katie. And then if at any point she feels like she's done with it and it should be, <laughs> some of you are going to have a heart attack. It should be torn up. Imagine how cute some of these would be on my quilt pages or as just like ephemera bits. So it's just cool to go, huh, that would be neat. What if you die cut some of that? Ooh, look at this. What if you tore that section out? I'm not saying I'm going to do that. And I'll let Katie have a chance first. And same here with this. Quilt Folk. I'm not familiar with this magazine, but it looks like one of those fancy, like, um, in her studio and stuff. It's very thick. Ooh, and the paper feels wonderful. The paper crafters are like, yeah, let's tear that up. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll pass this through Katie and probably my mom, too. Then when they're done with it, they can give it back to me because imagine what that would look like. I mean, Nancy, are you seeing this? You should get your hand on one of these, hands on one of these and tear it up for collage. Yeah, I'm surprised Mary didn't. But I think sometimes you have so much good stuff and you don't want to tear up a perfectly good book without letting all your friends see it first. And maybe in the end, I'll just take one page and then give it back to them. Oh, look at that, Katie. Cool stuff. Thank you so much, Mary. Yeah, when I saw those, I was like, oh, yeah, she's taking care of other people, too. Uh, a Woman's Day magazine. Magazines, again, they're great for, like, if you want a layer or a die cut or you want some bright interest. I am not good at, what are those things called that we keep trying, Andrea? Image transfer. So... I'm just not good at that. I, I've tried it once or try twice. It just didn't really work out for me. If you watch Bonnie and Clive, Bonnie takes magazines sometimes. And she, magazines, uh, especially junk mail, she does it a lot. And she will look and she will say, okay, that would be cool texture. When you see it, you're not going to think cornbread. You're just going to think, oh, pop a yellow. And look at that. That would be a really cool cutout. And lots of times... When you have the bits or she cuts the strips and glues them onto things, you don't think about it. Look at this. You could cut out the strip right here that has paw prints and then put it on your journal page. Super cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh, when I saw this, I was like, yes. I had some of these or bought them. I don't know. I think I had one. This is an amazing magazine. If you're not familiar with these magazines by Stampington and Company, I'll try and get it for you. 
uh, Stampington and Company, and this one is in her studio magazine.com. They make all the cool ones. Like, okay, they make the art journaling magazine. There's another one. I can't remember what the other one's called, but I had a subscription to it for a year. All of these are wonderful. They are not inexpensive, so they're like a fun treat for Santa to bring you, or maybe you pick one up now and then for yourself. And when you do, you probably always share them with your friends. And honestly, I've never torn one up. I just don't. I I think currently mine are all loaned to Tony, and I love to share them. And then when she gives them back to me at some point, I'll be like, oh, these are cool magazines. I probably won't even remember, right? Just really neat ideas. This one is all how people have their spaces and how they store things and what their rooms look like. And it's not all paper crafters. It's all different people. Art journaling, I don't know... I don't recognize the cover, so I have some of these, but I don't think I have that one. Creative Scrapbooker. Oh, and it's pet focused. Oh my gosh, that sounds super fun. You know, you get like a month with, that has a theme and, oh yeah, I'll have to look through that. And Creative Stamping. I love all these magazines. Mary gave me like a whole box of them before and it was great. It was when Noni had her knee surgery. She read a million of them and then I went through them and we shared them with other people good stuff. Let's see. Okay, I showed you those, the ribbon. This box is a Mary Inglebright box, and it had cute stuff in it. Okay, there's another little pile. Look at this. I bet Mary made this. A little coffee makes everything better. Adventure awaits us. You're not going to get how cool this is on video. This is like a magazine page or something super shiny and slick. The coffee mug has like texture and depth to the ink and then the steam is fussy cut or die cut and comes up out of it. There's paint and washi tape back here. It has, listen, all different textures. Really, really neat. October 30th, 2019. Maybe she made it, she enjoyed it for many years and then she decided, no, I'm gonna share it with a friend. Love it. Absolutely love it. Here's an old, I don't know what it is, part of a catalog, part of a poster. It's really cool. 40 acre home of Sears and Roebuck, the largest mercantile plant in the world. This would be super cool in a journal. And I'm trying to think, you could make it a page. I think that might be the way to go so you don't have to chop it up because it's just too cool, I think, to chop up. But whenever you have something like this, it's single sided and you want to make it a page in a journal, you can add a piece of paper and a fold here. So you would take a piece of paper like this. We'll pretend this is just a white piece of paper and full length. And you would glue it behind and then you would sew it into the book like that. And this would be a single page. So in terms of like scrapbookers, we think double page. And when you look at something, you think, oh, I'd always have to fold it in half. No, you can use something super cool like this. Okay, now, look at this. Okay, first of all, it's a wallpaper envelope. Super, super cool. Folded over wallpaper envelope. I bet you could paint on this, you could stitch it, but just the staples are cool too. And it's pre-pasted, so I bet if you added wet glue, I mean, it would like be like perma-glue messy, but it's really cool. There's something else in there. And then it's filled with wonderful ephemera. And I haven't gone through these so I won't be able to tell you like which ones are my favorite yet or anything, but look at these. Tons and tons of 4th of July. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think you could use that Christmas or 4th of July. Same here, look, I mean, it's red and green. Oh my gosh, that's cute, like a birthday. I wasn't watching the camera, you guys. I hope you can see. <laughs> I get excited and forget about you. Look at these pansies, Andrea, purple and green. Mm, she might have dibs on that one tell you. I'll try not to mix that one back in or she'll be looking for it for years. Look at that. So cool. These are all mounted already like they could be journal cards and just tuck them into a pocket. Look at these. I love them. Absolutely love them. The Pennsylvania Railroad Company storage stamps. And all of these are mounted so they could be little tucks and if you wanted to make them like tags with the little things, you could just poke a hole. I don't usually do a lot of that because your book gets kind of messy. It's nice to have a million things that don't have the hole for tags. Okay, 
I think that is all of it. My apologies, Mary, if I missed something or didn't see something, but it is amazing, isn't it? Thank you so much. And I think you know we're going to see bits of this stuff. And what I'll do is I'll start putting away and organizing. What I've tried to get better about doing is when I bring stuff in, say, okay, where would I put this that I would actually remember to use it? Put the stuff away right away, not keep it in a bag from Mary. I used to do that because I wanted to be able to say when I use the stuff, oh, this is from Mary. But the reality is if I bag this all up, I won't remember to use it. And I'll be thinking, oh, I thought I had a cool foam airplane. I bet you'll see bits of these in projects throughout the coming months. Thanks so much, Mary. And I hope the rest of you are taking time for crafting and relaxing. I'm not totally sure when you're going to see this video yet, so I can't tell you what comes after it. Bye-bye. <laughs>